Welcome back guys. Uh, on this particular day, which is the 21st, uh, it happened to be, um, if, you, if you have watched the previous videos, you know who he is, but it happened to be one of my friend's birthdays, his name is Will, and uh, he wanted to go to Barbell Brigade, so we went to Barbell Brigade. I'm not gonna turn down a workout, <laughs> especially at a nice gym training facility like this. So, um, this was a Friday, if I'm not mistaken, and, uh, yeah, today is my hypertrophy day, so, load's getting heavier, no pun intended, and, uh, and I'm getting stronger, so I can't complain. Uh, I've never, I never thought I would do this amount of volume, or be able to do this amount of volume, and on top of that, being uh, with, with this amount of weight, so yeah, it feels good, man, uh, every, basically every squat session, I think even before this, maybe one or two sessions before this, is a PR for me. Three or five, five sets of eight. Never done that amount of volume with this amount of weight uh, and beltless on top of that. So uh, I know there are there is a difference of opinion out there with beltless work and non-beltless work, but it seems to have been working for me. So uh, I can't complain. I'm not gonna try to fix something that ain't broke. Uh, I feel it has a strong carryover. Uh, doing beltless um, to doing work with a belt, but that's just my humble opinion. Um, yeah, five sets of eight. So trying to keep the bar path as straight as possible. Uh, didn't do that on all my reps, you know. In a perfect world, I would like my you know all reps to look identical, but. When you're doing this <laughs> this amount of volume, uh, not only are your muscles tired, but your cardiorespiratory system starts kicking in and failing you. Uh, I need to start including cardio in my regimen again. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Uh, I think this is one of my last sets here. But I noticed that my hips are breaking for my knees. I think I said that right. <laughs> and you'll see because my uh, my butt kind of kicks back a little faster than it should. But got the reps and I think this only happened on my last set so I can't can't be mad at that. And uh, leading up to this point so far on all my workouts, uh, squats, deadlifts, bench press, everything has been going up. I've been, I'm doing linear progression and I've been increasing the weights by 10 pounds every week. So like I said guys, uh, slow and steady, uh, rebuilding my strength and uh, relearning uh, my technique and form. It's going good. From there, you know, I moved on to um, deficit deadlifts, and I got 380 on the bar. Bulls are starting to feel a lot stronger. Sorry, still sick. <laughs> oh yeah, pulls are feeling a lot stronger. Um, Noticing a lot more speed off the floor, 
Something that I need to work on more is uh, thrusting my hips forward at the top of the movement for that lockout. Luckily, it's been, it looks better on camera than it actually, uh, it feels. Some of those feel like I don't even lock out, but watching it on camera, it's nowhere near as bad as, uh, what I thought. I did three sets of eight on these. Uh, the birthday boy decided to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a PR. I think he did a 585 for two, and then 565 for two sets of two. But here's his, uh, here's his 585. He's pushing some big boy weight. That's pretty damn impressive to. Uh, to watch it up front. Enjoy the video guys. Here are the pulls. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the rest of the video.